What is up guys? My name is Joe Anklum. If you're new to the channel, today's video is going to be a max effort type push workout with a commentary over it. So before I do that, I'm going to talk to you guys about my BPI giveaway that I'm going to be doing. And if you go back about five or so videos um, to the video titled BPI giveaway, check out my care package I received from them. From them. You guys are going to receive a very similar care package with some samples, hopefully a t-shirt and just a bunch of things from them so you guys can try that out. It's going to be absolutely free. I'm just going to need the winner who I pick to send me their address and BPI will send that out to you guys. So the rules to enter are very simple for you guys watching this. If you are not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe. That is the first rule. And then the second, I just want you guys to tell me a little bit about yourself. So just some things you guys would like me to know about you, get to know you guys a little bit better. And I'm going to be replying to all your guys' comments on the video itself down below. So please feel free to Tell me a little bit about yourself, like I said, and that's all you guys have to do. So subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and make sure that you guys comment below something about yourself, and I will definitely be commenting back to you guys. So I'm going to post this on Instagram as well for the people who do not watch my YouTube videos. Hopefully they can kind of enter too. So if you guys want to share this video, you can definitely do that, and please just let me know you shared it, and I will actually enter you guys again um, for a second time in the giveaway. So please subscribe and please comment below a little bit about yourself guys i would love to learn who you guys are and a little bit more about you so hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the video and hopefully i will be learning a little bit more about you guys very soon and be talking with you so enjoy the bench workout and hopefully you guys can learn something from that as well but take care guys thank you for watching back with another commentary for you guys and today as you heard in the intro is going to be a max effort push session and me and my buddy Vince as you guys have seen before on the channel does a lot of the film work for me we decided to work with some triples today we did five sets of three Vince worked 135 and he did that for all five sets really trying to work on his form guys he only weighs about 116 pounds and he's really just starting to take his training and nutrition especially to the next level and he's really seeing good results from it so this is pretty far over his body weight guys, like I said he's only 116 pounds right now and he's looking very good, you guys will see him a little bit more later in the video and he's making a ton of progress. So that just shows you being lean, you're going to be able to see the muscle you put on faster. So for you guys out there who are naturally skinny, don't be afraid to go get in the gym and especially don't be afraid to eat guys, that is Vince's, um, that is one of Vince's main things that he really needs to work on is just eating enough and being that we're skinnier like myself I completely understand where he's coming from it's just hard to eat enough to actually put yourself in that surplus being that your metabolism is so fast being that your body type is just naturally skinnier so I digress what I ended up working with was three sets of five as well, excuse me, five sets of three as well. And I worked with 205 for the first two sets, then 215, as you guys are seeing here, for the next two sets. And then I decided to go for 225, which was kind of a dumb thing to do, to be completely honest. But I ended up hitting that for only one rep and failing on the second rep. So I didn't even throw that in the video, but I definitely wanted to be honest with you guys and tell you that I did make that kind of mistake, shouldn't have just kind of jumped the gun a little bit, shouldn't have gone up and should have just stayed at 215. So moving on to the next portion of the ex exercises or next portion of the workout I should say, I decided to go with a behind the neck press and typically if you guys have seen one of my videos recently, I believe it was probably five or so videos ago, I did a shoulder workout and I used the barbell in the squat rack for behind neck press. Vince actually suggested we use the straight bar curl bar and that was very very good. I like the way that felt. You're really able to widen out and it was a lot easier to get the weight up and to manage the weight versus using the barbell and the actual squat rack. So if you haven't ever tried behind the neck press and your shoulder mobility allows it, it does incorporate the medial or lateral, the side delt you guys are looking to grow to get that cap look. It does incorporate that more than the front delt. Um, excuse me, it does incorporate the medial delt or side delt more than a OHP does or a normal dumbbell shoulder press does. So hopefully I didn't stumble over my words too much there and that makes some sense for you guys, but give it a shot. 
definitely, definitely like it a lot more than just a normal shoulder press and it just feels a lot better. So moving on, we then move to dumbbell incline. Nothing too crazy here, just four sets of five to eight reps. I worked with 60s for the first set, 65s, and then 70s for the final two sets. After that, we moved on to a incline machine press and did some more reps here. I believe we did 10 to 12 reps, so bumped up the rep range a little bit and really just started to focus more on that higher volume and really still working on keeping the constant tension on that upper chest. I really like to lower the seat down on that um, machine incline bench and really focus on using my upper chest and not using that lower or um, middle chest as much. So I really like doing that, especially after incline. It's a nice way to really finish off that upper chest. After that, we did move on to an upright row with the cable. Three, actually I believe we did four sets of 12 to 15, so moving a little bit higher in the rep ranges, especially for these accessory movements. We then moved on to a kettlebell lateral raise, and I really enjoy how the kettlebell feels. The weight disbursement feels a lot better to me than a dumbbell, and I like to do them single arm just so I can really focus on each individual side one at a time. So. We paired that actually with a cable fly and we really just focused on using our chest, really focused on bringing the cable together or the handles together I should say at about face level to really incorporate that upper chest, really trying to bring the upper chest up, get rid of these collarbones because that is a lot of times where people struggle to grow their chest. And um, another chest exercise we actually did was what you're seeing um, just a second ago. And we took the easy bar attachment and actually put it behind the chest press machine. So if you guys have an easy bar attachment, which most gyms do, find a chest press that you guys have, a machine chest press, and see if there's a way where you can kind of fasten that or just kind of prop it up against the back of that and use it almost as a close grip um, machine bench. So I really like doing that because one, it isolates the triceps like I was saying as like kind of a mimicking a close grip bench, but it also really hits the upper chest and just the chest itself in a very, very effective way. So like I said guys, please try that out if you haven't ever tried that before. Um, but that is going to conclude this commentary. Just going to leave you with some quick posing and some lateral raises with dumbbells. But thank you guys for watching and enjoy the rest of the video. So with that being said guys, that is going to conclude So with that being said guys, that is going to So with that being said, that is going to conclude this video. I just want to remind you to subscribe to my channel and comment below something about yourself. That is the only thing you guys have to do to enter the contest and I'll probably be picking the winner either late this week, this coming week. So today is Sunday probably later this week, next Sunday, or the following week. Please share the video for an extra entry and comment in your comment that you shared it. So otherwise, there's no way of me knowing that you guys shared it. Thank you, as always, for watching. Have a great day, guys, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.